Brighten up those already bright mornings. Wheeler, Ollie, and Lecter. Mornings at the Cabin. Mornings at the Cabin, indeed. Wheeler and Lecter with you on your Thursday morning. Almost time to switch to those dark morning liners. It is, well, it's not too bad this morning. Not as much frost as there was Monday morning. A little bit, though. I mean, it's September, right? AJ and I caught each other on the road, on the road, on the street just outside uh, and walked from my car to the front door. Caught each other outside. That's right. Oh. Yeah. You look like you came out all right. Yeah, I, uh, I do okay. Yeah. I do okay. I just curl up into a ball. Hmm. Yeah. And then yeah. he just kicks. So your back is just... <laughs> just peppered with oh, kicks. Oh, okay. Yeah. Peppered with kick marks. Oh, he's um, a little Wolverine. Yeah, he is. He likes to guy. stomp and scratch. It's weird. And then you know what? Just like a Wolverine, if you hide food on him, he'll go over there and pee on it. Um, Wolverines do that. Really? Yeah, they do. Huh. If they, if you bury your food in, like, say, under some rocks or something like that, the Wolverine can't get at it, get at it stand on it, and pee on it. Is this like your bear hibernation theory? No, it's not a theory. This okay. is what Wolverines do. Okay. Wolverines are crafty. <laughs> you also know they dr- drop out of trees on top of bears? What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wolverines are crafty. Got a lot to learn about Wolverine. They're a nasty fella. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. We, we, we no, no, no. In, Wolverines. And it was Here getting. We, we were talking about how it's getting cold. And it's like, well, this is September. Yeah. Like, it doesn't feel like it should be September already. Like, the summer months went pretty quick mm. after three months of um, glacial pacing. So we'll be right back into that. It's okay. Okay. I'm okay. I'm Gulo, okay. Gulo, Gulo. I'm okay. I'm okay. Did you know Wolverine's also called Gulo Gulo? Is it really? Where? So it says on Wikipedia. Gulo the Gulo. The Wolverine, Gulo Gulo, also oh. referred to as glutton. Well, yeah. I mean, oh, okay. yeah. Skunk bear. Mornings at the cabin. The podcast. Talking, well, wearing a master in sex. That's right. Canada's top doctor spent <laughs> some important sexual education today, or yesterday, I should say, for those attempting to uh, date during the pandemic. Right. So Dr. Teresa Tam, top doctor, Canada's top doctor, has been like a real, like, you know, a real leader throughout this entire thing. Every top doctor across the country has been a real leader. They've kind of had to be. And they're like all women, which is awesome. Um, so obviously, like, things are starting to open up a little bit more, right? We're, the bubbles are getting a little bit bigger. We're going to start being able to go to places. Are they? I think so. I thought... Well, I mean, we're starting. We're starting. We're able to go of... to places now. Like, we're able to go to the movies. We're able well, to... We are. You know, well, we are. But other people are as well. They've, they've basically opened up things in Alberta. I kind of stopped paying attention to the rest of Canada. They've I mean, just me been too. Opening like, up, they shutting keep down, screwing everything outbreaks. up. Right? Yeah. yeah. At, like the, it's so confusing because, like, I remember reading a couple weeks ago mm. that you know experts can't even agree whether or not what we're seeing right now is a second wave. It's or not. If it's still the first wave. And, yeah. And, and yeah, and it's. So I've kind of just been like, you know what? It's just it's too much to keep up with. Honestly, sounds like you're so, inching towards. This all being a hoax, Lecter. Sounds like uh, that's where you're going. No, quite the opposite. I'm uh, <laughs> very much concerned about it and just uh, worried about us keeping the NWT safe. And that's really all I care about right Fair now. Enough. Well, we got to keep that economy going. So everybody start going back to work. Um, and up here, yeah, we've done very well. We haven't had an active case in four months or something. Like it's, yeah. So we've been, yeah, we've been, doing, longer by we've been doing quite well. Um, but of course, like the big bubble would be Alberta. Right, because that's our, our main our main road goes into Alberta. So I mean, it'd be nice to have a bubble with them. Can't go down that road. Can't go down that road. Alberta's stupid. Um, not stupid. They're just uh, ignorant and lazy. I know. mean, <laughs> they're struggling like the rest of they Canada. are exactly exactly. But there there's a strong contingent in the middle prairies of people who are like, I'm not going to do what the government tells me to do. They put us in debt. The liberals. Blah 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 blah. And so it, it, that, that kind of rhetoric or that kind of feeling towards the government is going to make you go, well, I'm not going to wear my mask because this government tells me to. It's controversial just to say we anymore, too. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, yeah that's right. Um, anyway, back to this. A little bit of uh, advice for those who are looking to date. Wear a mask during sex is what she says. And now people are losing their damn minds. People <laughs> saying this is going too far. A, people, a few people in Yellowknife posted that, and I was just kind of like, she, you know she means like if you're out and about and you meet somebody and you have a little casual something, or if you're meeting a new partner at first before you're in each other's bubble. Right. Right? Yeah. We're mastering stuff. It's not very practical. It's not very practical to be like, hold on. 
stop the proceedings. Like you put the condom on, right? You got to stop the proceedings, put the condom on, and just like, will you help me with my mask? <laughs> slide it over your mouth. And it's like, oh, I don't know if my face is going to fit in this mask. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's not do it with a mask. Huh? I don't want to be close. <laughs> All of that garbage. Um, so, yes, you say that. But it makes sense, right? People are like, this is this doesn't make any sense. It's like, it absolutely makes sense. If we're not allowed to be in a in a group setting with people and touching and all that stuff, does it not make sense that if we're with somebody new, we shouldn't be I mean, having intercourse? Sensibilities-wise? Yeah. It doesn't make sense. And what what, what abilities-wise? Sensibilities. Why? Because closeness yeah. is kind of all in all what's the word i'm looking for all encompassing ah you know oh yeah are we having, are we about to have a talk about intimacy well we could okay i don't know if i'm the right person for that oh i feel like you do intimacy very well i mean i i, I didn't i don't mean i'm not talking about i'm not talking about that i'm just talking about like you know what? Uh, all kinds of intimacy it's what? not just physical intimacy huh? lector there's emotional in- intimacy intellectual intimacy i don't know what you're talking about Close. so let's Overall just talk closeness. about the, com- the, <laughs> the topic at hand here okay uh, no i mean yeah it, it's like it, it's obviously very uh it would feel as though you're you're in more of a transaction than yeah. a intimate of course situation. You have to but i mean people make the same arguments about condoms when they first became For sure. popularized they it like you know what i mean they were just like well this kind of breaks up the flow or yeah, whatever yeah. and it's like literally. it makes me feel less close. literally breaks <laughs> literally <laughs> breaks up the flow it kind of does <laughs> uh, <laughs> so i mean like it, it's it's just one of those things that like without without the context without thinking about like what it actually means because most of the people that are complaining about it are all like people that have like families they're like this is ridiculous and it's like well you don't need to do it with your wife like she's in your bubble yeah. you're fine yeah, yeah you're okay but like most of the most of the people that are complaining, i haven't dated in a very long time so if you're out there dating then absolutely like if you're out in a bar and you have to wear a mask for a bar or a public setting then you're already wearing one yeah you know what i mean and like kissing obviously big part of the intimacy but i mean it's just one of those things where it's like we don't know each other very well so like that's why the condom kind of comes into place so so should the mask yeah. Right. It kind of it makes sense that way. I think part of it too. I, I assume where some of the the outrage uh, may come from is it's just the fact that it's coming from a woman. Uh, I don't that's know if part that's it. necessary. Oh, it is. I, I mean, it it would it would sound just as just as ludicrous coming from it would any other sexual oh, identity. Absolutely. absolutely. Um, but it, I think it's like the 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 kind of telling us what to do in our bedroom yes that's i mean that's a big big part of it yes can't tell us what to do in our bedrooms that's kind of the whole point is that like we are private citizens and what happens within our things is is, that's that's what we do right and i mean it is it is just advice yeah on staying safe there's no there's no you know you're not going to be watched through your window and you're like see you take that mask off and we 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 i mean i mean if if, if conspiracy theorists are to be believed that's absolutely what's gonna happen well a small drone will fly into your fly into your house, whip a mask <laughs> on your face, and then video you having sex with your new partner. Jeez, that's what's gonna happen. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so that's a little intense. So I had some weird dreams. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I think that's that's probably where that's the, the mentality. Yeah, where yeah. the where the outrage comes from. Absolutely. That's, that's where your brain goes first. Understand People telling you what to do in exactly. your bedroom, which nobody wants. Nobody wants that. To do. Nobody wants that. Um, but like we say, this is just advice. And, but it is the kind of thing where you knew. That and, and I'm I'm sure I'm sure uh, Dr. Tam knew this as soon as she said it. Yeah. That this is gonna be splashed in this headlines. This is gonna be everywhere. My all face over will the be everywhere. And like the picture they're using, the picture they're using on a lot of these articles is her. Like it's her face. Like she's looking at a camera or answering a question, and she's got her fingers about uh, two inches apart. And yeah. She's kind of like, <laughs> ah, that's next. and that's the picture they're using. And it's just like, all right, Dr. Tam. Yeah. I don't need to be called out like that. Um, <laughs> but it's funny that you said stick to the uh, stick to the issue at hand, the subject at hand, because she says, much like advocates for uh, uh, <laughs> much like advocates for uh, people not having sex at all, um, abstinence. She said, your safest route to go solo. It's always the safest. I mean, route, it really is. You don't have um, to use a condom when you go solo. Yeah, probably don't have to wear a mask. I mean, whatever you want to do, really. Yeah. If you want to do those things, yeah. that's great. You can like almost picture, and I didn't watch any video. I don't know if you did of the the press conference for okay, making I this you were announcement. Talking about else. But I, I can almost, yeah, I can almost picture the video of the press conference where you know the journalists are they're, they're pretty much like yeah. they they know what's going on. I mean, they've been there they're, every day. They've like, been she's there giving updates every day. Every day. 
Yeah, this is pretty routine stuff at yeah. this point. So they're probably like half paying attention, writing stuff down. And then yeah. she's like, oh, and you should wear a mask during sex. I'm like, what, 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 sex? what? Sex mask? What? Sex mask? Huh? Huh? Oh. There's a new headline. There that's it is. Right, that's right. It. I mean, there and there's a new niche market for anybody who's looking to sell masks. <laughs> Boom. Sex mask. <laughs> Put a little mirror on it. Right? Oh, hey. A little mirror. Well, or, that's... Um, so you can see yourself. I mean, that's weird. for the narcissists out there, yeah. of which there are many. Yeah. Um, but yeah, a whole new uh, subset of mask wearers or mask makers. Sex masks. Yes. You don't have to do it with your wife or your partner. <laughs> Unless you want to. I mean, you never know. People might find that attractive. I know that. I mean, you know, there's sexy masks. Yeah, you found a few? Well, I mean, there's people like there's fashionable, like there's, there's, they're making fashion out of it, right? So there's like masks that look good. They form a person's face. You can see their eyes, you know? They're the windows to the soul. Who's just wearing masks over their eyes? No, no. It's, you can see just their eyes. Oh, just their eyes. Right. Gotcha, gotcha. They're the windows to the like, soul. You can see their eyes finally. That's right. You finally. Know. I'm not just staring at their mouths. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm half deaf and I need to know what they were saying. Uh, I, mean, I really wish you'd take off that gorilla mask. Like it, it was funny <laughs> the first time. That's right. No. And this time it's terrifying. <laughs> um, so masks in public spaces probably coming, and masks in private spaces <laughs> while you're the mornings at the cabin podcast. Hey, it was early. What do you want from us? Wheeler, I'd like to with you on your. Teen Burger Thursdays, brought to you by A and W. Not really; they just get free mentions every Thursdays because we do Teen Burgers. Uh, dibs out on getting the Teen Burgers, but I'll pay for some. All right, I'll toss in some cash for that. Okay, all right. Um, as if twenty twenty wasn't odd enough, Iron Man has arrived. So hey, there's good radio, right? Huh? That's a pretty good segue. Iron Man has arrived. I'm confused. Anyway, uh, in Los Angeles on, I think it was Monday or Tuesday uh, uh, afternoon, uh, Sunday, pardon me, Sunday afternoon, a, uh, a flight going out of Los Angeles International Airport, one of the busiest airports in the world, looked out the left side of the plane and uh, about 3,000 feet above Los Angeles, saw a guy in a jetpack. Oh. That's what the guy says. That's what the pilot says. The it, it, transcript from that uh, that communique, Tower, American, 1997, 1997. We just passed a guy uh, in a jetpack. Uh, to the left. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah, sorry. Sorry, pardon Come me. Come on. Do pardon your me. pilot impression okay. properly. Uh, Tower, uh, American, 1997. Uh, we just passed a guy in a jetpack. Uh, off to the left side, maybe 330 uh, yards or so. Uh, about our altitude. Uh, uh, over. Beautiful day in Chicago, uh, <laughs> about 13 degrees, wind 13 is about, degrees. <laughs> yeah, anyway, yeah. guy in a jetpack, yeah. <laughs> creating a little bit more wind. <laughs> and about 10 minutes later after that, a jet blue, uh, pilot saw the same, same thing, uh, we just saw a guy fly by us on a jetpack, uh, there it is. Okay, so it was confirmed. That, it was confirmed you know, first by another wasn't... plane. Okay. So there's a guy in a jetpack out there. Now, we know, we've known that secret jetpack technology has existed for many years. Mm -hmm. We backwards engineered it. From alien artifacts we found 1948. How oh, is that how it happened? This is common knowledge. I didn't know how it came this about. Is public just, yeah. record, man. All right? Just look it up on the internet. Um, but this is pretty cool. I mean, if jetpack te te technology is getting good enough that some guy can just fly around L.A. International Airport, soon enough, we'll all be wearing jetpacks. And disrupting flights. Disrupting flight I mean, I suppose we wouldn't need planes if we all have jetpacks well you know big planes are the big air big airlines you know how you big say big air. pharma big air mm. big air wouldn't like that much no nah, it's snowboarding that's right big big air. that's right yeah. that's right i don't know if i see if i could have a jetpack i don't think i'd like I'd be like well i was gonna go to edmonton for the weekend and fly down in my jetpack because yeah. there's a lot to like i mean there's a lot you have to deal with yes you know, while yeah, flying, right? Um, you know, bugs, bugs yeah, uh, the cold. <laughs> Why did that um, come to both because that's the exact thing. Yeah, I mean, like you're gonna wear a visor, or exactly. A helmet, of course, and I mean, you want to. I mean, the whole point of uh, of flying and how smooth it is that you go above twelve thousand, like or thirteen thousand feet, right into the yeah. thinner atmosphere, so you don't run run into the bumpies, right? But if you're in a jetpack, I wonder if I wonder how uh, how much that affects you. No in flight service either. No in flight service. Not that that's a thing anymore. I mean, you could anyway. bring yeah, exactly. You could bring your own stuff, right? You could just you know put on yeah. your mask and bring your you know, just sit down in Grand Prairie and have yeah. a little picnic. Yeah, exactly. Or not sit down at all. Fly direct to Edmonton. You don't even have to stop to go to the bathroom. <laughs> just let her rip. <laughs> it's happened on planes before oh. where they release their release their like, the, you know, the 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 holdings for everything. The and like it's killed people in the past. 
That's not funny. No, no, but it's I mean, not. no, it's, it's kind of really. funny. <laughs> it's kind of funny that uh, I mean, it's tragic, but at the uh, same time, like I mean, you know, without without context, without yeah. knowing who the human being is, being killed by frozen poop flying out of a plane, is <laughs> one of the funnier ways to die. Um, so yeah, <laughs> jetpacks readily available, uh, and people are flying them. I can't wait. Maybe we need to rethink this. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to do the whole thing over not again? Such a good idea. We'll do the whole thing over again. Here's why we shouldn't all have jetpacks. Uh, Tower American One Nine Nine. What? What? I don't trust any of you. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't <laughs> trust anybody. Like, I mean, we have regulations around this city that we can't have drones like, yeah. anywhere, basically within the city, unless you have like a permit. Yeah. And it's pretty hard to get those permits, apparently, um, because you could just disrupt because like the whole city is a flight path, a flight path, right? Right. So yeah, you can't have them. Can't have them. Can't have them. So, I want a jetpack, is what I'm saying. <laughs> For Christmas, if you guys want to just chip in, I'm sure they're not that expensive. Dangerous, though. Eh, maybe. I'll pay for your lessons. Okay, sweet. All right. Your lesson is just a fall. have to take them. How fine. Okay. All right. The Mornings at the Cabin podcast was recorded before a sort of live, thankfully not in the studio, audience. We put up our poll, not really a poll, but just a list of the movies available for our drive-in movie extravaganza coming up on September 18th and a doubleheader on October 2nd. We asked you to pick two adult theme movies. Again, weird to say. Um, uh, two movies that are not just for kids. Yeah. And then one kid movie. And uh, so we had a pretty decent list. Added a couple things to it yesterday, including mm-hmm. Men in Black, yep. uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, Back to the Future, and what was the other one? Uh, the other one was Dropping Jack and uh, Dropping Jack Limits. and Vertical Limit and Big Lebowski and Big Lebowski. Yeah, That's right. yeah, because it was a hard game, R. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, tough call, but we had to do it. I just coffee burped into the mic. Um, Ew, pretty gross. So, um, Are you okay? I, I'm, I'm all right. I, okay. I'm. You know what? Just get as an it. aside, one second. I went out last night. Oh, with I thought you were just going to let a belch <laughs> go into the mic. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. Uh, I went out with a couple of buddies last night from work. And uh, we stayed long, and I didn't sleep well. Oh. So. But you're here. I'm here now. Good job. Yeah. Oh. No. So if Ollie hadn't given that advance notice that he was taking the morning Oh, off, hell yeah. You, no, uh, I, I got out, home. Eh? I got home. I, I woke up at like 2 o'clock in the morning to go to the bathroom, and I was just like, I should send that note now. I was like, oh, no. Oh, Ollie, Ollie, Ollie said he was going to be late. Yeah. That's right. And sometimes AJ's late, so I didn't want to send the message out and be like, can you and AJ handle it? And then he doesn't get the message, and then he doesn't show up, and you know what I mean? And then I'm just hung out to dry. Hung out to dry. Yeah. But you do that on your own. You do two hours on your own already. I do three hours on my own, actually. I don't listen to the radio. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so you would have been a bit landlit, but oh, I, yeah. it's, not a, it's not an enviable position. I don't, no. I don't like Nobody wants five either. hours of Lecter on his own. No. That's too much Lecter. Well, I used to do six hours on my own, and it was. And nobody wanted that. Nobody wanted that. <laughs> by, the, by the fourth hour, it's just like, whatever community announcement you have, send it over here. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so we got those movies up. We got like 50 comments already. People looking to vote. People telling us what movies they want to go on. Is Back to the Future still in the lead? Uh, you know what? I haven't tallied it up yet because we, I mean, we've got a while. We're going to let it uh, let it stew. So and you ruminate. got lots of time That's to right. get your votes in. Yeah. Go to the Mornings at the Cabin Facebook page if you haven't already. Check out the list. Make your votes. Yeah. Um, they're pretty varied, mm. which I think we were kind of afraid of. We knew this was going to happen. We give too many options. Yeah. The votes will just be scattered all over the place. It's like Netflix. You can't decide. Yeah. Well, yeah, kind of. At, at a quick glance, though, I don't... I It almost looks like Men in Black might be in the Sweet. lead. Which is all right. I'm all right with that. I'll take that. Uh, Ratatouille. I've seen a, a, a lot of uh, votes for that Ratatouille. one. Love Ratatouille. Uh, but yeah, if, if you just scroll down the comments, you're you're seeing pretty much every movie title up there just flying at you. Sweet. So I guess that means that we put together a pretty good list of Absolutely options. Absolutely, we did. That's the way I'm taking that. No new suggestions, though, right? We told people not to put up suggestions. No, 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 okay. no suggestions. So, so no. It's like, Silence of the Lambs! Suggestions. It's not on the not on the list suggestions are actually very unhelpful <laughs> yes they, Quite they frankly. are incredibly unhelpful uh tom's Cons- comment so far consensus as we know is garbage that's right <laughs> <laughs> top comment so far megan housley i don't think you can go wrong those are all great options megan Thank that is you, unhelpful megan. that is Thank unhelpful <laughs> pick a movie <laughs> she just hopes that people don't pick up because how are you supposed to watch 
uh, the movie through all those tears. Absolutely. I've never seen Up, but that's literally all I've oh, heard dude. about it is that it's first, the saddest. First 10 minutes, you're just like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, Pixar knows how to do it. They know how to tug at those heartstrings. Have you uh, given thought to your personal what I think I said that. Back Did to the you? Future, Men in Black, and uh, Ratatouille. Nice Maybe one. even Angels nice in the one. Outfield. Yeah. I would do Mighty Ducks yeah, yeah. as well. I guess I would go. I guess I would vote for Up because it's the only kids one that I haven't seen. There you go. So yeah, I'd go with that one. Uh, back Pirates of the Caribbean. Man, like what a great drive-in oh, it's, movie. Oh, perfect drive-in. Perfect drive-in movie. Uh, I think I go Pirates of the Caribbean. Hook, just because I'm going to stick with pirates. Keep on going with Hook. <laughs> and uh, and up. Yeah. Okay, those are my right. three. We are. Le- I think we. I think we. I don't think we get a vote. Put this up a little early. Because it's going to be two weeks. Like, within a week, people are going to forget that it's even happening. Um, we'll reannounce we'll just remind it. them every day. This is our show prep for <laughs> weeks. Oh, my God. I can't wait. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, we got a, we got a great list of movies to pick, pick from. So, I mean, regardless of what people pick, we're going to have a great night at the movies. Uh, two great nights at the movies. Yeah. So, right? I mean, if Angels in the Outfield wins, that would be great. I haven't seen that movie. They're all, honestly, all great options. That's right. Yeah. The only thing I would have added, and I'm just again now, now I'm on a baseball theme. I just get carried away by themes. First, it was pirates. Now it's baseball. Sandlot. The Sandlot. Mm-hmm. Yes, mm-hmm. that would have been a great addition. But yeah. nevertheless, again, suggestions or Field of Dreams not being accepted. Again, Field yeah. of Dreams. Yes, yeah, Field of Dreams. I'll get out of How here. How dare you? Come on. Terrible. Come on. It's a great movie. I want to watch that at home, not at a drive-in. Okay, yeah, because you're gonna cry. You're gonna cry a like little a little bit. baby. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Because you didn't have a relationship with your father. Um. <laughs> I did want to shoeless wanna... Joe, man. <laughs> shoeless Joe. No, it's not that. It's not that part. Who cares about shoeless Joe? I care about shoeless. He squatters Joe. talent. He did. <laughs> that was that scene at the end where he has a catch with his dad because you don't know if the dad knows him or not because the dad's still young because he's a ghost. And he says, "Hey, dad, can we have a catch?" And the guy chokes up a little bit. And he's like, "I, I'd like that." And you're like, "Oh my god, he knows who he is!" Uh... Ah! God, I love that movie. I might uh, watch that tonight. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody leave me alone. I'm going to go watch Field of Dreams alone in my room. Uh, speaking of new movies, mm-hmm. you came across a, uh, did. a stunning movie review. Wonderful. Movie. Brand new movie so as Tenet. opposed to these. Yeah, so Tenet. The new Christopher Nolan movie is out. It's got like a 79 on uh, Rotten Tomatoes. It's right, okay. right about where usually his stuff is. That's not right. Batman. Yeah, yeah. It's like, or Inception was very highly rated. Yeah. Um, the rating after the first watch. So people like are... Still not quite sure. Yeah, it's what, like I have no idea what the hell was going on. Yeah. So seventy, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I mean, it's it's garnered a lot of that. It's like big action set pieces is the the general review. The consensus is big action set pieces that are glorious because that's what he does so well. Right. Uh, but like a convoluted plot that is hard to follow. Ah. Which is also something he does not very well. He like, knows he, what's going on. Well, he knows what's going on exactly. But like Inception, there's like I mean, I I never had a problem in, uh, understanding what was going on in Inception. No. Um. Interstellar a bit more, but like he has, oh, so there, there's an issue with Christopher Nolan's storytelling where it's not, not exactly clear because he's kind of like, come along on this ride. I'm expecting you to do some of this work. Well, he's not making movies for dummies, bro. Yeah, that's right, bro. Yeah. It's not a Marvel movie, bro. Stick gonna, with it. Not going to spoon feed you Iron Man in your face. Calm down. Watch it three more times. You'll be fine. So this comes from a, uh, a post from Pat Kane, PK. Okay. And I'm president of the Pat Kane fan club. Yep. Uh, and only member. Uh, I know there's a lot of fans out there, but they're not official fans. If you'd invite some people, I'm sure more. I'm not going to invite anybody to this. All party. Right. This is a PK party, and I like P. Okay. Um, so his post was how to watch Cobra Kai on Netflix. Turn on, turn off. Follow me for more reviews. So this is back ended. So it's the new uh, the new uh, Karate Kid show. It's been oh. on. It was on YouTube Red, which no longer exists for one season. Now it's on Netflix. So there's two seasons of the oh. show, and it follows the later adventures. Of Johnny and Daniel. Okay. So Johnny is still around. Daniel's still around. And obviously Mr. Miyagi is dead. Right. But what this kind of, it, it kind of he's plays off. He's waxed off. He's waxed. Right now. Don't say it like Sorry. that. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so he's, uh, he, it's kind of, they're, they're older and it's kind of playing off the meme or the, the realization that we came to when we were older that Daniel's kind of the dick in that, ah. in that show. Okay. Like, and Johnny was always kind of the bad guy, but Daniel's kind of the bad guy too. If you look at it, like. You take some of those scenes out of context where he's, like, egging them on to beat them up. Okay. But when you're a kid, you're like, oh, my God, Daniel. But when you're an adult, you're like, well, Daniel, you kind of asked for it, buddy. 
I'm not going to lie. I never gave that movie a second thought. After okay, fair enough. It. Well, you got to give it more thought. Okay, Karate Kid apparently. is great. It's a great movie. <laughs> Karate Kid Part 2, not so much. Karate Kid Part 3, not so much. Karate Kid Part 4, oh my Hillary God. Um So, back ends off this review of Cobra Kai. Julian Morse replied to this, and if Netflix isn't your bag, walking out of the theater is a great way to maximize your enjoyment of Tenet. So Whoa. he did not like Tenet. And, uh, the star of Morse code. The star of Morse code, the biggest box office draw in Yellowknife history, and hasn't even been released yet, uh, went on to say, uh, and, and also uh, linked to the Forbes review of Tenet, okay. which is a disappointing step backward for Chris Nolan. Oh. They don't even call him Christopher. No, just they, Chris. They, yeah, they just yeah, treat him like a little kid. Yeah. for Chris Nolan. Um, but he writes this, Julian Morse. And he says this the review from Forbes captures his thoughts okay. perfectly. Yeah. My main beef was it was so convoluted I really never understood why stuff was happening or why I should care. The backward stuff was gimmicky. The time travel aspect didn't make any sense. The sound was awful. I didn't care about any of the characters or really understand why most of them were involved in what 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 most of why most of them were involved in whatever it was that was happening. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't spoil the film for you if I wanted to. <laughs> it just sort of happened, and I can't really tell what it was, and nor could Nolan, it seemed, hmm. like, linked to following article. That is my favorite, one of my favorite quotes of a movie review of all time. I couldn't spoil the film if I wanted to. <laughs> that's pretty great. So, so it sounds like season two and three of Westworld. That's right. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I couldn't tell you what's going on. I'm just going to tell you that nor I do not like it much. Nor do I care. <laughs> nor do I care, because... But there's your review of Tenet, but don't forget to put up your comments on the Mornings of Cabin uh, Facebook page about what movie you'd like to see. Uh, Julian Morse, not voting for Tenet. The Mornings at the Cabin podcast. Teen Burger Thursday is done once again. Beautiful job by everyone down at A&W, and thank you, AJ, for picking it up. Great hustle. Great hustle, buddy. Uh, glad the girls are back up and running. Last week, we had to have breakfast sandwiches at this time. Like chumps. Like a bunch of chumps. At breakfast sandwiches. Good Lord. God. Oh, that get on with our day. <laughs> The other thing about Team Burger Thursday is it's like a, it's a heavy meal to have first thing in the morning. You think so? A little bit. A burger, oh. some fries, a root beer. Yeah. It's, it's light. Phoenix is listening right now. I'm just like, ugh. Yeah, that's fair. I think most people are going, ugh. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're enjoying their breakfast. Yeah. Anyway. But I've been up all night, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you uh, caught it on uh, cabinradio.ca, Sarah Easy. hung out with some chickens. I know, man. It's the roof here. <laughs> Sarah hung out with some chickens yesterday, and we got a video up uh, right now. It's pretty hilarious. Um, so uh, she meets with Stefan, who uh, keeps chickens in town. Mm. How many chickens did he have, though? I didn't see in the video. Uh, like, did he say? I didn't count he a couple them. Of I don't dozen, think he, it looks like. Yeah, I'm not sure he mentions exactly the number, but uh, there's a, there's a good, good crop of chick flock of chickens. Crop, a crop, crop of, of chickens? I don't think there's a crop of chickens. No, they're not grow a crop. Them. Well, I mean, you, you do. kind of do. Yeah. yeah. But not in the ground. No. No, no, no. no. Well, uh, no. Okay, stop. What? AJ, what? What? About 40 chickens. 40 chickens. Say, <laughs> I, say I said a couple of dozen. I was off by a couple of dozen. dozen yeah. That's fine. That's fine. But it's, a, a it's a hilarious yeah. video of her uh, interacting with uh, Stefan and all the chickens. And she does get flapped on. She does. At one point. Because yeah. she says to the chicken directly to its face. I'm going to eat you. I got the uh, you can't have that. up here. Here's the newspaper. Up. Here, good chicken. Good chicken. Oh, someone's going to eat you soon. <laughs> no, her. She's no? going to have one of the... <laughs> that is just she, peak Sarah. She's right an egg, yeah, egg-producing chicken. So Stefan's like, no, we're not going to eat that one. That yeah. one right I love the, like, I mean, you, you have the classic chicken noise, but you can hear in that clip, because the sound is very good. The classic chicken noise. But there's the little ones like... And then there's some that just sound like they're, uh, I don't know, they're doing like uh, jujitsu practice in the background. Yeah, yeah. Some, like, yeah. <laughs> like chicken grunting and groaning going There's on. a lot of chicken grunting going on. Yeah. 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 I, mean, I guess four, 40 chickens, approximately. Yeah. It's probably yeah. the older ones. Yeah, there's yeah. Like 35, 40 chickens. Somewhere. Yeah. Uh, he even 35. talks about getting pigs maybe next year. Pigs? Wow. Yeah. Oh, man. We're really getting into it here. Pretty yeah. cool setup. But yeah, he, he definitely, he gives, uh, he, he sells his eggs. Or uh, gives them just, away. Just to his buddies. Just to his buddies. Yeah. 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 And uh, I've been offered some of those eggs. He used to be in a D&D message group with this man. And I am no man. longer in it because uh, I never play D&D. And I never have time. 
Ah, fair enough. Fair. <laughs> so they kicked me out of that. that, that I def- definitely that thought you meant the military. The military. That's right. Yeah. I was in D and D with this guy, not D and D. D and D. Oh. Right. Dungeons and Dragoons. Mm. Gotcha. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. So uh, yeah, I mean it's pretty. It's pretty cool. Like there's, I mean there's goats in town. There's chickens. There's yeah. gonna be pigs. There's horses. There's all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Nobody's keeping bears though. Well, I mean, usually don't eat bear. No, and it's not Russia. We don't keep pet bears. No, that's right. No, you can not... eat bear though. It's pretty gaming. You can. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess you can get yeah, bear tags like, in the north, couldn't you? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. You can hunt mm. bear. Yeah. Good eating. But no one, no one ever really does that. Did does anyone out there actually go not bear the... hunting to harvest the meat? I don't think. Like, it's I don't think so that's much really for a thing. the meat. Yeah. You do it for like the fur. The fur and but whatever else. You're gonna use the whole animal. Yeah. 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 Gotta use the whole animal. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah that's, that's fair, fair for the bear. Yeah. Yeah. Check out the video at cabaretto.ca. It's pretty hilarious. Sarah does a great job, as always. And like you said, classic Sarah, like kind of a, I don't know, what's the, it's, what's the word? It's like, it'd be a very dry sense of humor. She yes. Does. Yeah. But yeah, just, hi, chicken. Smiling at a chicken. We're going to eat you. <laughs> flap, 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 flap. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's pretty great. A lot of karma in that moment. There. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's been really building it up against chickens, and they finally flapped back. It's about time. Yeah. Well, she's always talking smack about chickens. Yeah. Right? I mean, like, and, 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 like you know, we, we don't lead her into it. Yeah. Just out of nowhere, she'd be like, you know what sucks? Chickens. Well, it's about time she went into the uh, the belly of the coop. <laughs> the belly of the coop. A lot of skipping leg day jokes, things like that. She's ruthless. Yeah. She says that to you? No, about chickens. Oh, I thought you were going to say about you. It's like you, your legs are fine. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have chicken legs. How dare she? That's my bit. <laughs> don't steal my bit, AJ. <laughs> Check that uh, video out on cabinradio.ca. It's there now. It's pretty wonderful, and uh, that's going to do it for mornings at the cabin uh, this morning. Thursday done. Teen Burger Thursday done again. Again, big shout out to the crew at A and W and AJ. Thanks for picking it up. You're welcome. Uh, We'll talk to you guys tomorrow, the day before the big long weekend. That's right. If you've done any labor this year, you get the weekend off. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening. Check out more from the show at cabinradio.ca and by following the Mornings at the Cabin Facebook page.